All right, DJ Vic Vapor back with you. So continuing uh, with the inspector part two, what we're looking at here is the inspector we just spoke about in the previous uh, vi video. But however, if you click or select a clip, the information the inspector is giving you now becomes drastically different. So again, we can rename the clip. It shows our time signature, the length, offset, Uh, we can actually loop the clip right here if we want, so I can select to loop it. However, doing so here doesn't, uh, I still have to drag it out throughout the arrangement, you know, to continue to um, manage that. It's not going to just move that forward for me. You've got your start position, the overall length of the loop. I can mute it here if I'd like. Let me see if we can get a little volume on that. So there's the clip itself we can loop from here we can mute has the uh, shuffle feature on and off we can do a little shuffling minus positive I think a hundred both ways um, we can duplicate the clip so if I select duplicate it'll just begin to duplicate pretty straightforward We've got the uh, bounce option, double the content, reverse the clip, so we can actually select it and reverse it. We've got the scale up uh, right here, and scale back, so we can stretch and uh, lengthen the overall, basically speed up or slow down the clip. Some additional information as far as the length, we can mute, fade in or out, we can stretch, we can do a raw stretch, a stretch, uh, standard I would assume, then you've got stretch HD, and you've got the repitch feature right there. Uh, you can adjust and, and manipu manipulate the grain size, you can also uh, work with the onsets right here, shows and displays our tempo. Here's our gain for the clip. We can adjust up and down here. Pan, pitch, and they give you multiple increments here for pitch. Quantize and split at onsets. So this information, again, is the clip inspector. Let's move on to the next video and look at some...